everybody, it's Candice. I'm here with a video for currently reading and what I've read this week. Um, I'm behind on posting about some of the books I've read, but it's just easier for me to start from this time forward because I keep finishing more books and not uh, videoing what I read. So the books I read this current week was The Whaler by Ines Thorne. This was a book that... Uh, was written in German and translated by Kate Northrup. And I did a buddy read with The Usual Suspects of Mel, Cheryl, and Dee. And Mel, it was an experiment because Mel read it in German and the three uh, other of us read it in English. And <laughs> um, we, we all really enjoyed the book. It was a very quick read, but it was... I had a couple problems. One was, um, I think, the translation, uh, which Mel actually said the English was better than the German, so that's something to consider. But it was just, you could tell, it was almost like a YA type book. It was The writing was very simple. Um, and the other thing, Mel pointed out a bunch of like critical flaws at the end that didn't line up in terms of details so like editing wise I was probably problems but at the end of the day I enjoyed reading about uh, the book because it was based on Silt which is an island in North Germany that I knew nothing about um, it was a historical fiction in that regard however it was primarily a romance and it was, we all wanted to see what happened and we read it very quickly. Uh, I rated it three stars, but I would just say it's, it's an all right book. Um, the other book I read was Birdie by Tracy Lindbergh. And this book was unlike any book I've ever read. It was eye-opening. I hadn't, I haven't read a lot of books about indigenous people. And this book, first of all, the cover is amazing. And I've heard lots of good things about it on BookTube. It's just the story is uniquely told. Um, Birdie is our main character we're following. She's a young girl, a young Cree girl. She kind of has a difficult childhood. And her family is very dysfunctional. Um, I will say there are trigger warnings for abuse. And Birdie kind of lives in a bedroom under the stairs, sort of like Harry Potter, and just wants to be left alone with her books. And she has become overweight, I think, as a way of escaping the problems that she's dealing with. From there, the book goes into many different directions. Birdie is a very inspiring and strong person. Let's just put it that way. I had a hard time sometimes following some of the characters because Lindbergh calls some of her family members like two names like sister aunt or sister cousin or mother or aunt mother because they do represent many people to Birdie. But that on top of the storyline of where Birdie goes um, where she travels when she leaves the house and the journey that she goes on is sort of hard to follow and sort of hard to understand in general. At the end of the day, I'm glad I read the book because I was exposed to a lot of things, but a lot of things I'm still not quite sure what I read. And at the end, there is an author's note, which is a, it is helpful about some things, but it's still confusing in some other ways. So I don't really know how to explain the book well. And um, I ended up giving this book three stars. I'm still glad that I read it. I would just say it's a hard, a hard read in some ways about the story and how it's told. Um, every chapter starts with a sort of story from a storyteller uh, about some animals which I think are symbolic for Birdie and the people in her family um, which I liked but I was like wow this is probably all going over my head so 
Uh, yeah, so that's Birdie by Tracy Lindbergh. I'm currently reading The English Wife by Lauren Willig. And this was an arc on NetGalley. I found a bunch of people I follow on Goodreads I like, love Willig, especially I think her other series she has. But this book was re released this month and I'm trying to finish it. I'm like 75% done. But I will say when I first started reading it, I really was not enjoying it. Um, it follows two people, a brother and a sister. The brother's storyline is a little bit in the past, like five years in the past. And this isn't a spoiler. Um, we start the book and he is killed and his sister's trying to figure out in present time what happened to him. Well, present time it being still in the 1800s. So what I find difficult is it is hard to follow um, the characters. They're not likable and a lot of the characters are named the same. And that's confusing because you're fall you're in two different periods of time, and some people might not be who they say they are. They they could be a person that's named something else that she's already used the name. It's it's just unfortunate. Um, I'm still intrigued by the mystery. I want to finish it. It's just probably like a two and a half three star read for me. Maybe two to three star read. Um, I almost, like I said, didn't finish it a few times, so. But the other book I'm reading is a buddy read with Dee from Books and Quirks, and that's Catherine of Aragon by L Allison Weir. This is part of the six Tudor Queen series, which I've already read the book about Anne Boleyn and really enjoyed it. And I will say, this book is over 600 pages, and it's a great read. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm learning a lot. Most of the time when I've read about the queens by themselves, I've only read about Anne Boleyn. So it's been interesting to get to know Catherine more and really her amount of struggle and patience is really, really inspiring. So I'll continue to update you guys on that. Let me know what you're reading and how your week's been and I'll talk to you soon.